we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right guys I'm feeling okay I've just dropped George off my camera's all wobbly hold on um I've just dropped George off at nursery my mum got up with him this morning because she's staying over which is so incredibly helpful um so I just dropped him off at nursery in my new car and I thought I would just show you it a little bit I mean it's already I've literally had it for like three days no four days and it's already like I've got crap everywhere because <laughs> mum left but um I thought I would just quickly show you a little bit around the car. I got a Nissan Qashqai in the end. I think I did tell you that actually in a couple of videos ago. Um, and I just love it. I love it so much. Um, if anyone is on the fence as to whether or not to get a Nissan Qashqai for a family car, like don't be on the fence, get it, do it. Because I'm just obsessed. There were a couple of other cars that I did look at, but they were a little bit more expensive. And I was like, you know what? I don't need to spend that money on a car. And this, I'm so, so, so glad that I went for because it's just, I just love it. I just love it so much. It's perfect. My battery is actually about to die, but this is the car. I love it so much. It's got like the automatic handbrake, which my car didn't have before. I'm sure lots of like newer cars have that. Um, yeah, I just love it. It's all nice and shiny and new and so much space in the back and the boot space is just insane so this is dirty clothes from georgia's nursery um but yeah i just love it so much and i'm just going to show you the outside the color is just to die for it has been raining so obviously that's what this is but i just love the color so much it's so beautiful it's like a bronzy kind of color i'll show you it properly at some point but yeah, I've got to go in and start work now. But yeah, my camera is just about to die. I've got to go in and start work. I have um, not got my engagement ring on either because that is at the jewellers at the moment, if in case anyone wonders. And I've taken my eyelashes off. Um, I did those a couple of videos ago and they've lasted so, so well. It was day seven or eight today. I can't remember exactly. And um, I just removed them with the eyelash remover because I wanted to do like a proper deep clean and like wash my face, my eyes and my hair all at once. And um, yeah, I'm gonna put them back on a little bit later, I think. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Hello, it's a lot later now. <laughs> I've actually had a whole day worth of working um, from home and now I've just picked up the camera. I was supposed to pick you guys back up at lunchtime, but I literally had 20 minutes of lunch, uh, like a lunch break because I had meetings either side of it. So um, I had to like rush and do a couple of bits around the house and literally scoff down some pita bread and hummus for lunch. Um, and then I was back into meetings and stuff, but I am now finished. It is, what is the time? It's five o'clock, I've just finished and I'm gonna go and pick George up at half past five. So I've got half an hour, well I haven't because I've got it takes like 10 minutes to get there. So I've got 20 minutes to quickly attempt to reapply my lashes. Um, so I took these off this morning, as you guys saw, and um, yeah, I washed them and everything. Um, and then like, cause I've got all the glue, well basically, cause I use the eyelash remover, which is an oil based thing to get the glue off. And they came off so easily. 
Um, but then I obviously had to, I have to like wash them because I didn't want to have any oil or glue left on the lashes. So I'm now going to try and reapply them so that if they last another week, I'll be very, very happy. Um, I just wanted to like take them off, have a proper little wash of them and then like put them back on. I was so, so pleased with how well these came out. So I'll, I'll make sure to link these and everything down below like I did last time, but I'm going to go and reapply these. I also wanted to show you. I've got these new um, gel nail colours. Um, I'm just going to sit down to show you. So I said in one of my videos, I think it was my like budget video, I was going to stop um, getting my lashes done, which I've obviously stopped, and I was going to stop getting my nails done, which to be fair, haven't actually got done since like um, summer anyway, um, which seems like such a long time ago already. Um, but I thought it would be nice to just get a few gel colors from amazon these are the blue sky brand um and two of them i absolutely love color color wise i love these two this one's like more summery i think and that one's more like autumn-y absolutely love these two i'll link these down below this one's called capsule wardrobe probably because it will go with like absolutely every color like that will go with everything and i really really love the consistency of these like, i love them the color like the actual color of the nail varnish can you see that is so much nicer than it looks like on the top like i just i love this one so much it's like a dusty pink it would literally go with this outfit perfectly um and then we've got this one which is more of a sort of orangey pink i'd say really really beautiful and again perfect for autumn i love 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 that again it would go really nicely with this outfit actually they're so up my street in terms of colors for nails and then i got this one i don't love the color of this one i'm not gonna lie it's a lot brighter than it seemed like it was on the advertisement i don't know i haven't used it obviously um just yet but it does look like a quite a bright um red but it might like dry differently so i definitely will give it a go and i actually might see if my mum <laughs> will do my nails for me tonight because i've got like the gel thing and everything and i can always do my left hand really really well but i can never do my right hand because obviously i'm right-handed so i can do this hand like really well but i can never do this hand really well so i am going to see if my mum uh will do this for me she's actually out at the moment she is going to visit my granddad um obviously because i've been working today um, and she's going to come back just before George's bedtime so that she can see him. Um, and I think she's going home tomorrow. So, oh, it's so nice, honestly. I don't know about you guys, but when um, you get, like, help from grandparents and stuff, my mum is so, like, so good as well. Um, yeah, she's, like, super involved with George, and George absolutely loves her. She's constantly playing with him and everything, which is just really lovely. Um, and it just takes the pressure off a little bit, like, yeah. He doesn't constantly want me all the time. He um, literally chucks me to the curb when she's here. So, um, yeah, it's quite nice to obviously see that they've got like, like that relationship and I can just crack on and do some stuff. Um, and it's just sort of less pressure, I guess, to just be constant um, on top of everything all the time. I'm only sort of doing half of it, which is very helpful. And I feel like sometimes um, maybe I'm not the best at like asking for that help, but God god i need it so um yeah it's just super helpful and yeah i appreciate it so this is your sign to um you know ask for that help if you are in a predicament where you might need some help even if that is just someone like coming to do your dishes or coming to cook you dinner or something like that take the take it people that love you will help you do that kind of thing so yeah that's the little tidbit for the day um but i'm gonna take these upstairs and i'm gonna go and see if i can reapply my eyelashes Head off, George getting back because there's no chance in hell that I'm going to have the chance to do that uh, when he gets home. So I'll catch up with you upstairs and let's see if this works. Okay, we're upstairs. I've got all my lash kit ready. It's the, um, if you guys didn't see last time when I showed it, it was the more lashes um, and these are the starter kit. So I got these in the starter kit as well as all of like the bond and the remover and the tweezers and stuff like that you need to help you apply them and I love it I've had them well I've had these on for a week um well I think seven or eight days and yeah they were so good so I'm going to reuse the same ones after having washed them fingers crossed they last just as long and I'm going to I think get some like more like different styles and stuff as well because I did say last time these are quite long for me but I'm still here for it so I'm going to do the quick cash bond 
like I did last time. I'm really sorry if you've seen this before and you're not interested in um, lashes, so just like completely skip past it. But I know that for me, as a busy person and a busy mum, I don't have time to be doing mascara or like lashes or even to be honest, getting individual lashes like put on all the money to be doing that kind of thing as well. So I thought this would be a good little thing for you guys. It's what I'm doing and this is a day in the life vlog. So this is my day in the life. I'm sorry if it's boring, but it's, yeah, it's my life. So I'm gonna put on the Bond. So I'm trying to look in the mirror and show you guys at the same time. You're supposed to only put it at the base of your lash, which I find quite difficult to do because my lash is like point downwards a little bit, but I think that's okay. I'm gonna now literally That's it, I know I've got a little bit of glue there that I've just put on there by accident. There we go, got it off and I'm back. I'm just gonna add that on. Definitely feel like I've got more like confidence doing this second time round. Like on the placement and stuff of it. I mean that has not even taken me like two, not even two minutes, like one minute if that. All done. I need to just brush through them, but I'm just gonna literally clamp down on the lashes. I just can't believe how quick this is. And then there's like the super stay for like an extra long stay, and this seemed to work really well for me last time, so I'm gonna do that as well. Yeah, I normally don't have the patience for things like this, but the, the thing is, it's so simple to do that even I can do it. This is just insane. I love it. And more lashes if you feel like you want to sponsor a gal. I'm all ears because I'm absolutely in love. Love them. Obviously, they look tons better when you've got like makeup on and you've got like music going in the background and you know, we have like the aesthetic going as well. But I've literally got, yeah, I've only got 20, not even 20 minutes. I've probably got like 10, 15 minutes before I have to go and pick my little boy up, so. This is who they should be marketing these lashes at. Is us, mums. Cause I tell you what, I'm sold. Actually, while I'm up here, I often get asked where a lot of my clothes and stuff are from. Very much so when I'm wearing like casual stuff because I feel like if you know, you know, <laughs> we're all mums, we're busy, just want to be comfortable, but not look like a bag of crap. Like, come on, we just want to look half put together but not, like, but we just want to be comfortable. Like that's the main thing, right? Like practical, nice, like mum outfits. I feel like this is the epitome of that. Like this is probably one of my favorite outfits like of all time, like to go for in the like autumn winter. So I've got like leggings on and I've got a fleece on. I've got this exact set in brown as well, like a chocolate brown color. So these are from Girl of Muse, which is Gemma Louise Miles brand. Bought them last, was it last? Autumn, I think it was last autumn, yeah. Um, and I've just like, yeah, I lived in them literally non-stop then and I know that that's gonna be the case this like autumn winter as well. So I've got the fleece from there and the leggings from there. Like I said, I've got these in the chocolate color as well. And then I've just, I've only just, this is guys, the first pair of trainers I have worn or owned since I was in secondary school. Like I've had, oh my God, I got caught then. Um, I've had like Vans and like Converse and stuff, but then like more, they're more like canvas shoes, whereas these are proper trainers. Um, but I've, I've, I've got hooked on this thing of basically sweat socks and like a chunky trainer. Um, and these, I think are like, these look similar to like a Balenciaga or a New Balance, that kind of shoe, but they're a lot cheaper. These are the Adidas ones. I got these from Office, but I think um, Shoe do them as well, like S-H-U-H. -H. I'll link them down below because they're so much more affordable. And I'm living in these sweat socks like this. These are just from Nike. Um, and then, yeah, leggings and a hoodie or a fleece or sweatshirt or something like this. I absolutely love it. And in this weather today, because this is quite a thick fleece, I've got a long sleeve top underneath as well. Obviously, I've got the um, sleeves rolled up at the moment, but... 
I would just probably go and pick George up like this. Whereas if it got a bit colder, I'd probably just put like a shacket over the top. But I've actually recently also loved, I'm actually gonna show you now. I've also really loved just like not having, if it's like a bit warmer, like inside, if you're inside maybe, and you don't want like a big, big fleece on like this, then you can just have like a long sleeve top, leggings, the same exact look on the bottom, and then just like an over shirt. And I'm actually loving that recently. So in here you'll probably see, yeah, over shirt, over shirt, over shirt. You can hear my dog barking, but this is one of my absolute faves at the moment. I'm just gonna show you. So this over shirt, it's like a nice like fleecy one. Love it, and it sort of looks like a shacket, but it's just like an inside one, I'd say, like a layering piece. And I feel like in autumn, that's what the kind of thing you need. And I always go for like massively oversized, but you don't have to. Um, and then this one as well, very similar, but it's obviously the check. And just, oh, I just that literally screams autumn at me. These are both um, from Cupshe, and if you guys are interested, I'll do like a sort of autumn winter wardrobe mum capsule wardrobe kind of video soon I think because I've got quite a few nice bits like this that I'd like to share I think so yeah do let me know if you want to see like that kind of a video it's not like my usual content I have done some like fashion stuff in the past but it's not like my go-to thing um just because I don't really think I'm very fashionable but I am a mum and I like comfy clothes and if that's your kind of thing then it's like wearable I feel like every like styling video I see and like the clothes that I see on like Instagram and stuff like that I love but firstly I will never wear them because they're just not practical for like mum life um and secondly I can't afford them like I want to like work with my wardrobe things I've already got like staples like basics like leggings long sleeve top chuck up something over the top and it looks like an outfit like that's the kind of outfit I want something easy don't have to think about it so yeah, that's, um, that's sort of my vibe anyway. So um, if that's something that you guys kind of want to see, then let me know and I will make sure to do that kind of a video in the next couple of weeks, I think. Um, but yeah, I am going to go and get little man now and I'll catch up with you when we're home. got back and it was really good actually coming into the... Hello. Do you want me to take your jacket off? Yeah. 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 Good job. Oh, you're doing so well. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Ready? We'll take it off. Biba, biba, biba. Let me take it off then. One leg. Two legs. Oh, you're going to take that, are you? Okay then. Have fun with that. Cheese. Yeah, exactly. Cheese. Cheese. Yeah. Cheese. Cheese. What are you showing everyone? Cheese. This is why, guys, I'm really sorry, but this is why I can't really... Come here, chicken, look. This is why I can't really vlog with George around. Come here, it's okay, baby. Do you like a little snack? Yes, sit there for me.
Oh, okay. Rude. I'm pretty sure what I'm having for dinner tonight is something that I made in a previous vlog during a lunch time. I think it was a HelloFresh meal. I think I had leftovers and I froze them. I'm having it for dinner tonight, which is perfect. George isn't hungry. I've offered him a little bit of um, pasta that he had from last night as well and he was just not interested. He's had so much to eat at nursery today, apparently. So... I am just gonna go and have this. Eat it on the sofa with him. Um, and if he wants a little bit, he can obviously have some. It's not spicy or anything, so that's the good thing. And there's still another portion of this in the freezer for another day when I won't cook. Um, and I know that it seems like I don't ever cook. I promise I do. Um, but I just tend to do it like in the week when I'm on my own. If I do have a meal like this and there's nothing like that needs using up and stuff, I will just tend to go for that. It just makes my life slightly easier. And I'm, like I said, I am trying to be a little bit like kinder to myself, I think, um, in just like, this is a homemade meal, but I just made it a couple of days ago, do you know what I mean? I don't have to have like, I don't have to be on top of everything all the time. Um, yeah, so that's my little message for you guys. Batch cook when you can, you know, you've got the energy to, and then thank yourself later. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna go and eat this and I'm going to probably end the vlog here because I need to edit it and I need to get it up for tomorrow. And it is 20 to seven now um, because me and George have been playing and stuff. So, Nana. you want a banana? Nana. Nana, okay, I'll get you one. Mmm, <laughs> Nana. Nana. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. There you go, my darling. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye! Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby